flood are ended. The reintroduction phase has begun. Countless preserved species have been sent back to start lives anew. Halo was the forerunner's terrible and ultimate solution to the parasite's relentless advance. Designed to destroy all sentient life, nothing was allowed to survive. And we were sure that nothing had. We were wrong. Something has been found. Something that should not exist, yet does. I believed that the Flood represented our ultimate test. Her greatest victory. Perhaps I was wrong in my assumptions. To my dismay, it seems we have a new problem. I must investigate more before I bring this to the attention of the Council. How could this have happened? How could we not know of this till now? Xalanin. A species previously uncatalogued. Xalanin. A problem that must be solved. Did my makers know of them? How could they have kept this from me? I have requested counsel. Soon, I will know how to proceed. There is to be a parley. A meeting. Highly unusual. I have moved Installation 07 into sufficient range of air mold. Delegates are en route. From both sides. A necessary contingency, considering these unique circumstances. The Council has also provided me with an additional and curious directive. We must understand the extent of what their kind can truly endure. There are facilities on this ring quite ideal for conducting such tests. It is time for the silent auditorium to serve purpose once more. It is with a heavy heart that I must accept the Atriox. My greatest achievement is lost to us. In his wake, since the greatest army ever assembled, a force fueled by fury. His spirit burns in the heart of the banished. It is years since he sought my counsel when we planned the revolt against the Covenant. His words, even now I feel them in my heart. We will never kneel again. We will stand proud together, banished brothers, side by side. has found the object. Even in my darkest moments, when I feel the most lost, Atriox's wisdom continues to impress me. I regret that I ever doubted him. His talk of forerunners, of their lies, of secrets hidden in this forsaken ring. Atriox, hear me. Your will is absolute. The banished, your soul, eternal. The Harbinger is free. I do not trust her, but I must believe in Atriox's plan. His sacrifice must not have been in vain. Especially now. His faith in what we learn from the Ark is all I need. The Harbinger is but a first move to secure our position, our future. Did Cortana know about all this when she chose this ring? She expect it would be her doom also. As I look upon this endless world, that question consumes me. The Master Chief has returned. This should anger me, but strangely it does not. me new purpose. What 
Just flesh. <laughs> 
up and it's been rough on my end. We're running out of humans to skin rip, so the rank and file's getting a little bored. Brutes, though, they don't get bored. They get mad. Last night, a group of six, maybe 20, uh, I think six brutes, decided that they should be in charge of the camp. Maybe the whole banished. And then the chieftains smashed all their faces. No change in management. But hey, lots more meat on the menu, so that's nice. All this weapon carrying and battle dodging has got me missing home. When all we worried about was keeping good marks at the Nipple Academy. Things was easier when we were all shooting humans. We banished have faced many challenges and overcome them all. The yoke of the covenant, the resistance of humanity. Our warriors grow restless, and now I hear word that some amongst our ranks believe themselves more deserving of status, renown, and adulation. Remind your troops of their place, tighten your grip, control your forces, Find someone who can. Four nights ago, one of our captains discovered a pair of quivering humans hidden in the cleft of a ravine. Swift interrogation revealed they had come from a nearby forerunner tower. Though we found no humans there, our search bore even sweeter fruit, a forerunner resonance amplifier. With it, our outpost relays can project farther than we dreamed possible. We will find the humans still clinging to this ring, no matter how long it takes. Our grip upon this ring is tightening, and our work is nearly complete. This outpost stands as a totem of the strength of the banished. We are many, forged into one, under the banner of mighty Atriarchs. Spartans are dead. All that remains are mere children. And soon, they too will be ground into the dust of this world. As our presence extends across the surface of this ring, the signal relays above this facility will unite our forces. And this place, our new home, will at last be secured. Did not Atriox promise us that Halo would be ours? Behold, his oath is fulfilled. Situation with these scaring thrust bugs, brother. This skin represents more nuisance than aid to our efforts. I am convinced they, much like their leader, have their own agenda. What's more, they look at me strangely with their damnable hold eyes and a smell like a plague ridden thorn beast. When our goals are achieved, I pray Asheron sees fit to discard this alliance. <sighs> Dragos, I found your report on the hollows beneath the candidate excavation site to be promising. Our ally agrees, but... She is skeptical of our methods and wishes to inspect the site herself. See that she has little cause for concern. <sighs> Succeed in unearthing this ring's secrets and you will find glory. We need not remind you of the 
consequences of failure. The human scourge is all but extinguished from this ring, brothers. But those who remain are persistent. Double your efforts. Search every cave, every derelict ship, but do not kill them. They will tell us where the others are hiding before the end. Zaglok and his machines will see to it. Soon not a whisper of humanity will remain on this ring. Understand my concern, Kaidan. None would question your vigilance in safeguarding the processing outpost. Nevertheless, it is insufficient. We must never forget what happened during the war. A single demon rose from the ashes of their worlds and brought the whole of the Covenant to its knees. We believed him to be dead before, but were proven wrong to our utter shame. We cannot afford to make that mistake again. Brother Arak, our scouts have identified two key sites that seem quite promising for excavation. We will soon be ready to dig, but we must remain vigilant. Unnatural defenses lurk beneath the surfaces of these rings. Advise your troops to salvage any human machines laid low in battle. The material will be needed for repairs in the difficult days to come. Good hunting, Brother Arak. When this is all over, I will tell you of how I survived my days on the Great Foundry. Certain. 
We need only slow the demon down long enough for this mighty ring to be whole once more and ours to control. He must be the focus of our forces. When the Spartan is dead and he will die, there will be nothing left to stand in our way. lived in the shadow of bone-bound treachery. <sighs> but today, we are offered the chance to achieve what the prophets and the whole of the covenant could not. Humanity's last champion has returned. As we speak, he marches amongst us. The demon hopes to deny us our destiny. See to it that his hope is extinguished. <sighs> so the galaxy that at the end of all things only the banished remain. Our great victory at the human stronghold is complete, Tremonius. You led our forces well. Atriox would be proud. To mark our triumph, local forces will begin at once to establish a new outpost. The first of many on the hallowed ground of our new home. We will build this fortress in the very shadow of their failure. A monument to their frailty and cowardice, where so many of their kind were cut down. Eshiram has decreed it be named in your honor, Tremonius, so that it may inspire other leaders to do what you have done. All that remains of the humans are scattered remnants, and so the hunt carries on until the last human skull is crushed. Thanks to your efforts, that day is rapidly approaching.